to enhance the quality of your voice audio <clears throat> and get crisp and clean sound, check this out. from Massive, the fastest way to deliver all your large media files online. When you sign up with Massive today, we'll give you 100 gigabytes free to send all your files anywhere you want. I'll leave you the link in the description box below. Go and check it out. All right, you should know by now that your audio can make or break your video. Nobody wants to listen to someone's muffled, echoey, teeny audio for any amount of time. So how do we make your voice sound more crisp, with more depth, presence and richness? You can make all of that happen in Premiere Pro, but before we get into post-production, remember that it's recommended to get an external microphone in a good position and distance so we can get the best sounding voice. We'll also leave you a link in our descriptions for top 5 microphones to use for recording, streaming and podcasting. Okay, let's get into it. I will show you first a really quick way to clean up and improve your audio, and then we will go more in depth into some audio effects to make the voice pop and sound more pro. Let's go! Welcome to Premiere, we're going to fix this audio. Let's go to the toolbar on Window, Workspaces, then select Audio. This new window will appear on the right. Here, we will select Dialog. My audio has a bit of background noise and echo, so we can go to the second tab in Repair and activate the Reduce Noise and Reduce Reverb. You can adjust the intensity with the slide bar. If you want to know more about background noise, I'll leave you this video here on the top right corner. Next, we're going to go to the Clarity tab and activate the Dynamics and EQ. This is the Equalizer. From the drop-down menu, you can select a variety of presets. I think the best are Podcast Voice or Vocal Presence. But try them out with your own recording and adjust the amount slide bar if necessary. To finish, we will activate Enhanced Speech. You can select the type to enhance the high or low tones. Welcome to Premiere, we're going to fix this audio. Welcome to Premiere, we're going to fix this audio. This is a quick way to improve your audio's quality, but in reality it's better to play around with some specific audio effects so it can help us to sound like gods. Well, not really, but it will help us to get that richness that our ears are looking for. I'm going to work directly from the editing workspace. From the effects panel, we're going to look first for the noise and add it to the audio clip. This one helps to reduce background noise. In the effects control panel, you will see the effect there. Click on edit and you can select a preset or adjust it manually from the bottom slide bar. You can also select in which frequency you want your processing to focus on for more detailed noise reduction. Okay, let's go back to effects and search this time for parametrics equalizer and add it to the clip. Click on edit, and now we have this box where we can see our audio's frequency spectrum. On the left, we will have the low frequencies. On the right, the high frequencies. Mid frequencies in the middle, of course. We can move each one of these points up to boost them or lower them to cut them down. This same visual information is represented in the section below. To make things easier, we have some presets here. The most important one we will use is Vocal Enhancer. You will see that the frequency line has changed. The HP filter, high pass filter, is active, so the lower frequencies below 80 Hz have been cut out. These ones could interfere directly with the voice, so we don't want them. Lower frequencies at 110 Hz have gone up a bit. This makes the lower tones of the voice more prominent and present. Meanwhile, the mid tones in the lower side, 291 Hz, have been reduced a bit to compensate for better intonation. And of course, the higher frequencies have been raised all the way up to really get all the power and clarity of the voice. From here, you can tweak this point manually to make it personalized for your own audio. Alrighty, now we're going to compress the audio. The purpose of the compressor is to tighten all the frequencies and balance all the voice tones. It may also raise the overall volume. Let's search for compressor in effects. We have these three here that can really help us out. I like to use the multiband compressor the best. Again, in this new window, we have our frequency spectrum with the other parameters to modify. Let's check the presets. There are many that can improve the quality of the audio if there's any issue, like the hiss reduction or the ether. There are other ones that will bring the volume up, like the ones for broadcast, internet delivery, and PopMaster. 
and there are other ones that are just there for specific effects like the toy or walkie-talkie. I usually like to use the hiss reduction or snare chunk to compress my audio. Try out different effects and use the ones that work best for your voice and the style you want. To finish with the effects, I just like to add a hard limiter and put the preset limit to minus 3 decibels. This will limit the audio peaks to reach higher tones than minus 3 decibels, so it's a big help for audio clipping. Welcome to Premiere, we're going to fix this audio. This audio is fixed now. Okay, one of those should work. To not do this process all over again, every single time that you have done a new project, I'll tell you what to do. Select them all, right click and save as a preset. You can find this later under the preset folder in the effects tab and just drag and drop it to your audio. If you want to try another way of fixing your audio, you can also do it through the audio track mixer tab. Open up this arrow to show the effects and in this little drop down menu, you can select the effects that you want to use. Just keep in mind that each one of these columns represent a track in your timeline. So when you add the effects on the first column, audio one, the effect will be added to all sound clips on audio track one. When you finish your video, use Massive to send it for reviews or final deliveries to anyone, anywhere in the world. This is the fastest and safest way to deliver all your raw or high-res footage to your clients or collaborators. Don't forget to get your 100 gigabytes free by clicking on the link in the description box below and signing up with Massive. Don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want more filmmaking tricks, please click that like and subscribe button and toggle the little bell icon. I'll leave you now with this video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!